I think we're now live streaming, so I think we're just getting on it. So um, um, we basically got the Apio milks. And we're going to start. Do you want to start with the 50 or the 65? Created by the Great Dane, Mikkel Frisholm. Um, and gosh, I miss seeing Mikkel. He's, he's not been well recently, but he's getting the recovery back. And this is just, I mean, if you ever want to get people to understand how, you know, different percentages can just create the most extraordinary bars. When we do our milk tasting, these are the bars that we have inside it. And I am just super excited just to be trying these. So, sorry, which one are we starting with? I think we're going to start with 65. That's so funny. I was just opening that up. Look at that. We go for purple before green. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. So this packaging is a lot easier to deal with, given that you've been having some issues with your packaging today, Dad. Yeah. Nice and you can really see the now. Mm. Huh? And you can really see the now. Oh, wow. Again, fantastic melt. Tastes like corn. Tastes like cornflakes in a good way. Mm, but you really get the chocolate coming out of it. Yeah, you do. There's, there isn't much milk to sort of, you know, cloud your you way. That's what I mean by the cereal flavor to it. Yeah, I do. You're right. It's sort quite of slightly quite malty. Yeah, malty. Oh, yeah, mazy mm. malty. Really good though. It really develops beautifully. It's crazy because people kind of talk about, oh, you would devour a whole whole bar of milk chocolate in one go. This is tiny, and I think one piece of it is rich enough. There's so much depth and complexity in it. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely worth savoring. But now yeah. let's move on. Let's compare it to the... Wow. To... Raisins as well. Very raisiny. Quite menthol-y, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a little bit of menthol. My throat can feel it in a good way. Okay, 50%. This is the Opio milk. Well, they're both Opio. They're both Opio, okay. Okay. Very similar nose. Completely different mouthfeel though. Much, much, much creamier. No, the nose is much more whiny, I would say. Mm, but when you try this, okay. Let me have another go and see if you're right on the nose. But what you definitely get. Parable. Wow. That beautiful, beautiful, beautiful length. So I powerful. actually think so. We're going to be doing I this one. I still think it's quite raisiny, quite whiny. Yeah, yeah you definitely got that same. fermented sense to it. So this, so one of the really interesting things we're going to be doing in a few weeks' time is we're going to be doing a wine and chocolate tasting, and um, we've actually got two reds to go with some chocolates, which is sort of you know a great thing to be doing. But actually, we're going to be basically also doing some dark milks with some um, quite oaky. French Chardonnays and we almost picked these chocolates but we've actually picked something else but it could have worked with these ones too I don't know I don't know whether I would want to pair this wait with a very oak Chardonnay wait really? wait it's an extraordinary sensation okay. we actually picked slightly brighter ones we actually picked we can go on to the next bar to discuss this because it's actually an Indian chocolate from Induki that we picked um but it's made by Standout and it's a dark milk but it's sort of somewhere between the two but this this almost Pipped it to the post, but in the end, that's what we didn't do. But they are absolutely you can, do you think anyone this who's got well? some sort of Chardonnay, don't have it bone cold. But basically, if it's oaked, just try it, and it should be amazing. You think this would go well then? 